This video is going to show you how you can change your desktop background in Windows 11, even personalize it and use your own photographs. If you're watching this video as a short, then tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So there are various options here in Windows 11 for changing your desktop background. So first of all, let's show you how you can get into the desktop background setting. So just find a blank area on the desktop, a part of the desktop with no icons. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Once you've clicked the right hand side of the mouse, you should get this menu come up on the screen. Move your mouse over personalize there and click the left mouse button. Then you'll see this here. Now, there's a number of options we can choose here. One of the options here is to choose a different theme and that allows Windows to sort of select how your Windows is gonna look. So I've just, just used this theme just here. And if we just minimize this, there you go. It gives us this theme here, but also it's changed the color of the bar at the bottom of the screen as well. So it, it changes the whole Windows experience. Now, if you just wanted to alter the background, then here we've got this option just here, background, background images, color, slideshow. Let's just click on there and here we go. So personalize your background. So at the moment we're on Windows Spotlight. So basically Microsoft will download pictures to our computer every day or so and that will automatically display different pictures probably on a daily basis or change them a few times a day there. This is great if you just like something different every day. If we click on the little arrow just pointing downwards there, there we go, we've got more options. So we've got picture there. So what we can do is we can either select the pictures that Microsoft have chosen. So select one of those. Let's just select that one. OK, let's minimize this, see how it looks. Not bad. Or if we want to choose our own photo, we can click Browse Photos just there. And I'm going to click on this one here, this picture of a waterfall. So let's just double click that. Let's minimize this. There's the picture that I took of a waterfall. That's my own picture. Now, there is another way of, uh, of, of using your own photo. So if you're in File Explorer, let's just go into Pictures. Say, for instance, I have found another picture there that I like the look of, of another waterfall or whatever you want to, uh, to, to, to put on there. Just move your mouse over the photo. Don't open it, click on the right mouse button and then left click set as desktop background. If I minimize that, that's put the photo in as my desktop background. Now there's possibly a third way of doing this as well. So let's just go into this picture here. So I'm actually gonna open this picture up and I'm gonna open it up in the Photos app. So this has opened, let's say in the Photos app and in most apps you can do this. You can right click over the photo and then look for something that says open in File Explorer or open file location, something like that. Left click on that and then this will open up the file and it will highlight it. There you go in File Explorer. And then again, you can right click on it and left click set as desktop background or also with it highlighted, you can click set as background just up there. Left click once and let's just close all this down, go back to the background and there you go. There's my picture as a background. Now I'm just going to go back to settings there and personalization and then background because uh, there are some other options in here. Say, for instance, if the picture didn't fill the screen, you've got options here to stretch it, tile it, center it, span it. That might make the picture look better. So try each of these options and see what, which one looks the best for you. The other option here is just to the right of personalize your background where I've got picture there. We've got a couple of options here. If we didn't want a picture, if we just wanted a solid color on the background, we can do that just like old fashioned windows. We can select solid color and then select a color just on the left there. 
And there you go, plain boring background, but might help speed up the computer because it's not spending time loading images into its memory. The other thing here we can do is under view colors just there, we can customize the color. So if we wanted a certain shade, then we can select a certain shade from this palette here. All we do is just got to do is hold our left mouse button down, move this around until we get to the shade we want. And you can see there, that little palette at the top there shows us the shade. So there you go, I've gone to olive green. You can also adjust it further there, make it lighter or darker. And when you're done, just press done. And then let's just minimize this. And there you go, there's my olive green customized background. Another option we've got here is slideshow. So here we can click on browse and we can find a folder a whole folder of photos we can use as our desktop background. So I'm just going to choose this folder here and it's saying here, change picture every and we can select. We can have it change every minute, every 10 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour, every six hours or every day. We've got an option to shuffle the picture order there. So if you if you get fed up with the pictures rolling around in the same order, you can shuffle them around a bit. You've also got choose a fit for your desktop image there. So if, if the images don't look right, you can try different options here to make them look better. So there we are, there's various ways you can personalize your Windows 11 desktop. I hope this guide helps. And if it does, then why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Also, if you're thinking of getting a VPN or buying a Fire Stick, have a look in the description of this video. We've got some great offers at the moment on VPNs and Fire Sticks. And when you use those links in the description, it really does help support this channel.